During the commemoration ceremonies, the city opened a vastly expanded memorial to the victims. Several thousand doves were released. The incident, often referred to as the Rape of Nanking, has for years strained relations between Japan and China. This year, on the 17th anniversary, several movies and documentaries are re-examining this bitter past. One of these films is by Lu Chuan, the director who previously made the award-winning Coco Xili. His film, Nanking Nanking, is being made with state approval and support. With Sino-Japanese relations and trade improving, and with memories of recent anti-Japanese riots on its mind, the Chinese government is presently treading carefully on the subject. Trade relations are a priority. It took him around five months and a lot of help from the higher echelons to convince the censors. This censorship is not a wooden part. You have to convince them. I think this is very important. No matter how much, now I have a question, I will also go to it. But there is a point of the Japan from that point of view. I accept it. I think it's important to trust. It's important to write such things. You write a book, you write a book, you write a book, you write a book, you write a book. You write a book. So I spent a lot of time talking to them. Why do I write a book? I have to write a book. 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 On this 70th anniversary, it's not just China and Japan that have been remembering the Nanking Massacre. This year, there seems to be a Nanking movie coming out of every continent. A documentary directed by Canadian husband and wife team Anne Pick and Bill Spahek, Irish Chang, The Rape of Nanking, tells the story through the eyes of a Chinese-American writer. The first edition of her book on the incident was criticized for inaccuracies, but it did increase international awareness. A German production featuring Ulrich Turkor from The Lives of Others and indie actor Steve Buscemi tells the story of John Rabe, a German businessman who used his Nazi connections to save Chinese civilians. The 20 million US dollar movie will be released in Germany next year. Hong Kong's Yim Ho says it's taken him a few years to get government permission to film in China. But he is now in pre-production on Nanking Christmas 1937, a Hollywood production with a 35 million US dollar budget. The American documentary Nanking recounts the massacre through the eyes of the Westerners who remained in the city during the war. The film was entirely financed by the AOL's vice president, Ted Leonsis. When it opened in Nanjing in July, local benefactors bought thousands of tickets and distributed them to the public for free. Feeling threatened by the merit of films they see as anti-Japan, that nation's nationalists have come up with their own version, the truth about Nanjing. It denies all accounts of the massacre and claims all the evidence to be faked. Compared to the other big productions, the small two million US dollar film planned to be released next spring is not likely to garner much attention outside Japan. Lu Tuan's Nanking Nanking team is currently building a replica of the old city walls and some areas of the city. They are shooting in Tianjin and in Changchun. I看了很多日本人写的日记，但它不是一个人的事情，它是很多很多日本老兵的事情，然后呢，放在一个人身上，因为我觉得我编，我很难去编出来，就是我觉得你要有那种现实感的话，就必须要去获得他们那种第一手
，这种资料尽量的都拿到。要看书，看看看看看，然后你就会发现，的确很多人说的话都是不一样的，就是这个蛮可怕的，你知道吧？你以前觉得，哎呦，板上钉钉的东西，可是你不能把它推论出来。就后来我就去请一些朋友在在日本拿资料，拿日本的纪录片。我开始的时候是，是一个强烈的民主主义者，很像那种街头扔石块的青年学生那种状态。可是现在，现在我觉得我状态就是说，因为我觉得我看到了大量的事实，大量的历史，我觉得我真的形成了自己的一个观念。我突然觉得，就是我觉得做这部电影的最大的重重最重要的是，让人看到了，不是说。是要让人自己去反省，让所有的观众去反省，因为那种丑恶，实际上就是在战场上随意杀人、随意掠夺别人的生命、随意掠夺女人的这个贞操，是可能是每一个男人都藏在心心心中的一段这种这种东西是藏在每一个男人身，只是你没有机会去展现。所以，就是因为我看了很多很多日本人的日记。他们在家里边都是很好的、很 nice 的人，到中国战场上，一点一点的，因为他没有、没有、没有法律去约束他，他可以随便杀人，随便去抢劫，随便强奸。那慢慢的，他就 enjoy 这种这种工，因为他的权利变得无限大。嗯、如果我们就是讲屠杀。讲血淋淋的场面，然后在那儿画一个句号 ，OK。那我就觉得拍这部电影没有意义。这个电影最有意思的就是讲普通人怎么会在中国就干那个魔鬼干的事情，这个才是最有意思的，而不是要去讲一个魔鬼怎么经常干魔鬼干的事情。The subject remains sensitive. It remains to be seen what impact the various productions will have on the relations between the two countries. As political realities change, what can be said is likely to change too. For his part, Lu Tuan has situated his studio in Beijing's Japanese neighborhood, so that his team can live and interact with Japanese people every day. 就是我不想把它拍成就是一个喊口号的电影，去去点燃仇恨的电影，因为这样的话，这部电影其实。是远离我现在的初衷的，我真的是想让它变成一部让大家思考的电影，这样才有意思，就是我我希望能做到这一点。